I'm sure you've seen Pokemon Infinite Fusion before. You know, the game where we slam two living creatures together and pray that they don't turn out looking like an abomination. Yeah, well, a randomized Nuzlocke of this game is pretty hard, but what if I told you I made it even harder by bringing along my good friend Adam who's never played Infinite Fusion before and linking our Pokemon together so if one of them die, both of them die. Yeah. Doesn't sound like a lot of fun, but it was. So here are the rules. We each catch a Pokemon and they get linked together. If one dies, they both die. If we fuse them with something, we fuse them with the same pairs and we're gonna try and stick to level caps as much as possible. We saw so many cool fusions along our adventure. I can't wait for you to see them all, but to begin, we need to pick our starters and they need to be from the same ball. So let's get into it. The options were pretty mid, but the best was the combination of Nidoking and Dugong. Taking them, we find ourselves in each other's house. Hey, what's up, bro? Doing? Hey, what's up? What are Make you doing, sure you check step, that bin bro? For the for the leftovers in that bin. There's nothing in here. What did you expect? The leftovers, I guess. We then took the package back to Professor Oak, and we got our Pokeballs. And now it's time for our first encounter. Adam manages to catch an Elekid, and I fail to catch a Magneton. Off to a great start, I'd say. Heading into the town, we buy some more Pokeballs and get a free gift Pokemon. Adam got the awesome Eevee, which could evolve into anything super cool, and I got the amazing Kakuna. Alright, heading on to the next route, we attempt our next encounter. Once we get to Pewter City, we're going to do some fusions, but for now, we just want to build the roster, and heading into Viridian Forest, we catch a Rhydon and a Tangler. Fuck, okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> Come on! Come on, Tangler! Do not f*** us! Let's yes! go! Yes! <laughs> yes! Let's freaking go! <laughs> Making it to Pewter City, we fuse the same two Pokemon together, being Giat and Noodle, to get this and this. At least Adam's fusion looks alright. We take our Pokemon into the first gym, and it just so happens that it's a water gym for both of us. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Azuma Wudu. Moving on to the next route, I catch a Honedge, which has a bunch of cool fusions, and Adam managed to catch a Grimer. We decided to fuse the Pokemon we caught with the gift Pokemon from the start to get these. Heading into Mount Moon, we catch two more Pokemon, mine being a Drifblim and Infernape fusion, and his being a Bulbasaur. I combined my Infernape with Shroomish, and Adam combined his Pillowswine and Bulbasaur. Both of these fusions would become incredibly useful to us down the line. Further in the cave, we stumbled upon Team Rocket, up to no good again trying to triple fuse Pokemon. Naughty naughty Team Rocket, you know that's illegal. Well, I guess it's up to us to stop them. If one of us fails, then we both fail. So, hopefully we win this. Your fight is probably going to be more difficult. Dude, no, it's fine. I just vine whip and kill it. I won. I one shot. Wow, Pokemon Pro. <laughs> nice. On our way out of the cave, we catch a Slugma and Whalmer and head towards Nugget Bridge. Oh, Donald, it's good to see you. Wait, I just realized that, oh my god. Bruh, he's got freaking Exodia. <laughs> I managed to put Exodia to sleep with Noodle and take it down with a few Icy Winds, as Adam takes out Hornbok with a few uh, Smackdowns. Okay. Adam switches over to his Pillarswine Fusion to knock out Dragonite Marowak with an Icy Wind. As I manage to take down Spearlord, in comes Psychargo, Adam successfully knocks out Sunflame, and I get ready for a super long stall battle. With the ingrain, I managed to outheal it and eventually take it out. Hey. Yes, oh just squeak through that. Oh my god. With that over though, we speed so run we our way over the bridge indeed. and to our next encounter. From here, we head over to Bill's house and witness the subsequent fusion of Pokemon and human. What the hell? <laughs> and then the murder of said Rhydon to leave no evidence. Smart Bill, smart Bill. But I did see that. And now it's time to do what we've all been waiting for, some more fusions. This time I got a lava lamp and Adam got this. Only a spoonful. Hey dog, you get some ice cream? Only a spoonful. We took these amazing teams into the fight against Misty. Adam had to take on a fighting specialist this time, and I'm going up against the Ice type. For me, this fight was easy, since Tip and Leprosy, aka my Infernape and Slugma fusions, could deal with the Ice types easily. However, Adam was not so fortunate. Immediately getting hit with Magnitude 9, Adam's main Pokemon gets dropped to red instantly. Thankfully, he takes it out with a Psybeam, and in comes... Dark Champ, holy dude. I feel like someone someone has to die here. Back off. Oh! Crit. Oh, no! no! I fought like the dark bottom <laughs> boss of hell. That. Oh my god, this is sick. What? <laughs> what? That's Gear 4 Luffy. 
Opening down to Route 5, we catch two really terrible Pokemon and make it to the home of Lieutenant Surge. We have a few more encounters for us here, like the cave where I found Lopunny and Adam found a Chimchar, and the grass where Adam found a Stantler and I found an Arcanine. We spent a while fusing these Pokemon to mixed success before heading onto the SSN, and it's here we run into good old Donald again. His first Pokemon Quillery goes down easy to gear for Luffy, but the problem is yet again in front of Adam, since Donald's 9 pump deals a lot of damage with Fury Swipes. Switching out to Hey Girl, he knocks it out with two muck punches, and I take out the rest of his Pokemon with ease. We both give the captain a good old rub and obtain Cut, gaining us access to the gym. Man, I hate this gym puzzle. Literally, you cannot do anything but just guess. There is no hint. Oh, oh, oh got one, but you're not getting the second one, are you? I get one, and then... I get one, and then the other one resets instantly. Okay. Oh, finally. Once again, Adam gets the more difficult battle this time. One shots his Eevee Whelma fusion with a critical cross chop. Bro, you got a crit on cross chop. Should I potion? Because it'll kill me. Or you or pray I... that it doesn't wake up. Yeah, I think it's two turns. We're risking it. Oh, oh I need a potion. Because Noodle just nearly died, which would be your gear. Okay, the only thing I can do here is keep spamming potions. I hope somebody does some other move. Okay, there's a good chance I live, though. Yeah, yeah, Do you want yeah. No, Hypnosis. Hypnosis. Swagger, okay. Oh, it's confusing. Yeah, you're okay, good, okay. you're good, you're good. And you have an attack boost, so... Attack boost, okay. Yeah. What is this Litom? Dude. No, sleep it. it. You gotta sleep it. I have to, but okay. I can't attack it. Maybe? And it's ice. Ooh! Let's oh. go! Wait, 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 there's, there's still the other thing left, right? I forgot! <laughs> Pro Garakazam. Wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. I have to heal this. I don't want this to die. No, no, wait, wait. Oh yeah, massive that's, drop its that's attack. Big. That's actually big. Okay, it was Psybeam is special. Oh. Okay. Huh? Spark! <laughs> I think we would have lived well, that. We would have lived that. <laughs> like a million health. What okay. did it use Spark for? Hopefully it uses it again. Spark again is not very effective. We win. <laughs> this is actually bullshit. Oh! <laughs> Let's go! Well, that's disappointing. But we made it through, so, you know. Yeah. Uh, we can recoup. Wait, let's, let's There's see. a bunch okay. of Pokemon we can catch. So off we went to do just that. Catching Pinsir and Gliscor. And then it happened. Oh! Oh! Yo! Oh my God! Yes! You got it! Yeah. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God! Okay, I'm gonna catch Punchkrow now. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, there yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> but it didn't stop there. Heading into the power plant, he found this back to back. Dude, cure him! What the? From here, we made our way into Rock Tunnel, the bane of all existence. But we gradually made our way through the cave as blind as a Zubat, but after facing off against some serious combatants, we emerged from the cave miraculously unscathed. No Pokemon lost. Huh, nice. Heading on to Spooky Lavender Town, we run into our old rival Donald again. And this fight was super easy for both of us. Nice. So we head to the left, yeah. aiming for some new Pokemon to fuse. What the oh, hell? <laughs> Bro, okay. Game Lord, Jesus Christ. Making it to Celadon, we have so many Pokemon to catch. First being the one near Snorlax, which was kind of underwhelming. Now there is a glitch, actually. I don't know if they patched it in the latest version, but um, if you like walk up into this floor, you want to face oh my God. <laughs> Catching them, we moved on to the patch of grass even? before Celadon, and we find- Oh, oh my God! What? Okay, shiny Entei. We then bumped into this trainer who wanted us to walk her Eevee around. I don't know why this girl is so lazy, but anyway, we did that and raced to see who could complete it first. It was Adam and he got rewarded with a Shroomish and I got the second place reward, Togepi. And with all of these new Pokemon added to our team, we have plenty of fusions to make. I mean, this was all right and this was all right, but this was pretty cursed, I'm not gonna lie. But by far the coolest was definitely this. Oh my <laughs> Gear 5, what? Luffy! Wait, Let's what? go! Why, why, why is that in the game? <laughs> Let's go! That's the only thing up. that's better. That's the only thing. <laughs> 
boy has leveled up. Gone from gear 4 to gear 5. Sorry if that's spoilers to anyone, but by now I think everybody's seen it. I'm not even up to that episode, but I've seen it. We did really struggle though with what to combine, since we had to combine the same Pokemon, but beating the next gym would raise the level cap enough so that a lot of Adam's Pokemon could evolve. So for now, our team remained somewhat the same, for the most part, besides the introduction of Kurum and Dragonite for Adam. To get these evolutions, however, we need to not only beat all these grunts, but Giovanni himself, and then Erika, the gym leader. Battling through the grunts and all the legendary Pokemon, we arrive at Giovanni. My battle with him was pretty easy, but it came pretty close for Adam, thanks to this Gengar Grimer fusion, as it managed to poison Adam's main man Wallace, but fortunately he outspeeds it and knocks it out with the Dragon Breath, and from there, knocks out his Eevee Charizard fusion with Giat's Drill Run, ultimately securing us the win. This gets us the Sylph Scope and a date with Erika. Well, if you count destroying her in a battle a date, sure. She was a Ghost Specialist for Adam and an Electric Specialist for me. The team I decided to bring had to pull out all the stops to come out on top this time. Adam easily clears her Chandarit and Gaspok, but myself on the other hand, had a Legendary to deal with. This Raikou Typhlosion fusion was quite bulky and got even more bulky after defense curling multiple times. With Tip getting dropped to red, I had but one option, pray for the sleep. And we landed it, letting me just knock it out with gear. But it appears my problems weren't over just yet. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is so cool. <laughs> Wait, look. Is that Fuck. enough? It is. Oh, yo. That's cool, but I just... Lost gear. Anario then thankfully clutched up, knocking it out as Adam takes down Midna. Get rid of the. Oh. What the heck yeah, did it just okay. do? <laughs> oh it just God. just cursed and killed itself. With her defeated, we claim our badge and make some changes to the team. So, quick team recap: we have Clippy, the Scyther Pincer, Wallace, the Bibarel and Chuckle, Gear Five Luffy. Um, Drifblim and Infernape, Ao, Togepi and Lopunny, Benny Boy, which is Shiny, Entei, and Lucario, and then C, the Honchkrow. We got Benny Boy, that was cool. <laughs> Tip, that's pretty sick. Ao, insane. Clippy, got a work in progress, gonna change later. Wallace, pretty cool. Just cool in general. And then you. From here, we head back over to Lavender Town and ascend through the floors of graveyards to meet Mr. Miyagi, or Fuji, or whatever his name is, at the top and get ourselves the flute. We take this flute down to Snorlax, wake his stupid ass up, and catch a bunch of Pokemon on our way down to Fuchsia City. And by a bunch, I mean literally a bunch. I managed to put together this really cool Naruto fusion with Ninetales and Lucario, but in the end, I had to sacrifice it as its partner was needed for Adam to create this. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? <laughs> this left me with a Blastoise Ninetales fusion, which was still pretty cool. Alright, enough dilly dallying. Koga was next, and he was a fighting specialist for Adam and a normal specialist for me. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a four pack there, bro. Can I? Do I have another? I want to make that. Okay, this is going to be easy, dude. Bro! Oh my god, I got paralyzed. Oh! Oh no! Oh. Okay, Wait, don't die. Don't I have die. to already switch tip out. That's kind of annoying. Oh my god. Oh, okay. Clippy kind of popping off though, so it's alright. Wait, Wait, you can win, but... Yeah, I can. Yeah. Alright, he's just doing my life. I'm blessed! Oh no, we're good. Oh my god. With that done, we caught some Pokemon on our way to Saffron City, where we had to take on a Team Rocket infested Silphco and take down Giovanni. We managed to save all the trapped employees, which earned me a Raikou, and Adam another Shroomish, before we were ambushed by Donald. Donald then decides to help Adam and I take down Giovanni. Since this is a double battle, things can go very, very wrong, very, very quickly. So hopefully, this doesn't go to shit. Donald helped me take down Giovanni's first Pokemon, Coma, with an Aqua Tail, as I stayed safe with Fly. Adam, on the other hand, had two Latios fusions to deal with. He takes out the first one with an Ice Beam and in comes a third legendary, being Jirachi. I take down Mega Melon with a fly and tragedy nearly strikes as Paliri goes for Earthquake. Oh my god, oh my god, yeah. <laughs> the Drift Loot stole the chance's egg. <laughs> 
Adam manages to take down the Jirachi fusion, but makes a fatal mistake sending in the menacing man. Can I oh! That was a mistake. What did you swap to? Copper? Oh no! <laughs> what? So. What the hell? Thankfully, however, we managed to scrape through the rest of this fight, and it's on to the gym. And with the city saved, we can take on the gym. For Adam, Sabrina was a dragon specialist, and for myself, a dark specialist. This was one of the easiest gym fights for us. I just storm throwed everything, even this giant whale, and Adam managed to knock out all the dragon Pokemon with ice beams from Wallace, the Dragonite Curum fusion. On our way down to Cinnabar Island, I found a Ho-Ro, and Adam caught an Empoleon. And then in the burned down mansion, he found a Gibble, and I found a Spiritomb. We decided to fuse these two together and got some pretty cool fusions. Okay. Okay, I found the man. Okay, hey man. Hey, hey man. <laughs> Go back to the gym, you little slimy soddy. Hey man. Yeah, you sod. You fucking. No, sod off, mate. Sod off. Sod off, shotgun. Reaching the bottom of the burned down mansion, we find the gym leader who's scared of our awesome British accents and runs off back to the gym. Yeah? Piss off, lad. I then got the privilege of watching Adam suffer through the gym puzzle, where you have to answer a bunch of Pokemon questions. Tell me in a ponytail, which level? Oh! Wow. What do you mean? You're it's not hard. You're smart. It's not an easy one. Which, type of, which of these Pokemon is not still tight? What? <laughs> What's it doing? Why is it eating? <laughs> Mmm, I wish he... Mm. <laughs> Sushi! <laughs> Ground. <laughs> head yeah, the, of an oddish. The head is oddish. So, the body is Rhyhorn. So it's oddish Oddhorn. is grass and poison. Rhyhorn is rocking ground. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> I'm, I'm reading the, <laughs> the four types that are there. I thought, I thought, first of all, I thought Rhyhorn was just rock. <laughs> It'd be one of the rock ones. It'd be rock and grass <laughs> <laughs> how many types are not very effective against fire type pokemon okay. how many types are not not very effective yeah. against fire type? Yeah. so fire, right. fire grass that's gonna be something random like psychic or some dumb shit <laughs> mm, it's five <laughs> <laughs> what the tombstoner which tm can have with tombstoner one i've never even heard of that move in my life <laughs> that's a new one. That's after that's after Sun and Moon. 100%. Yeah, 100% it's after. TM94. What do you mean? <laughs> it's not. No way it's TM23 It's not a move. <laughs> well, with that done, we can take on the leader. Blaine, daddy. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> like Clash of Clans. Man, Tyke. Man Mankey! <laughs> Look. <laughs> 10 minutes left. Bro, we're doing a gym battle. You need to pay attention. <laughs> Somehow, while paying absolutely no attention, Bro managed to clear the gym as I struggled my way through. He paralyzed Dan the cop with a zap cannon and it forced me to swap out to Clippy. But then Bro landed another two back-to-back -back zap cannons and forgetting I could heal, feared for the worst. But then after spraying Clippy with a full heal, he manages to knock it out. And after building a team capable of taking on the beast, we make our way across the water and to Giovanni. Zap Molkuno! A, M, and Z. The plan was simple. Go for Rock Slide and pray. Oh. I missed one. Now, there is a slight problem with this strategy that I forgot about. It has a berry that weakens rock type damage, but that only works once. So if one of our Pokemon were able to take a hit, we should be able to take it out the next turn. Oh, you can take Def that. Gone. No, gone. <laughs> I think I'm good. We good. With the tragedy of the loss of DEFCON 1, we head to the gym to get revenge on Giovanni. But unfortunately, tragedy strikes once more. He's the greatest trainer, what a scumbag. Leading with Driftsaw, I take out his first Pokemon with our Spiritomb Ho-Ho fusion as Adam takes on Purnine. Lit Wudu, on the other hand, survives the hit with its sturdy ability and retaliates with a Stone Edge. Damn. 
we both really like Dan the Cop. Well, Snoz does manage to finish it off with a surf, and in comes the super cool fusion of Deoxys and Litwick. Thankfully, I managed to take it out with a fly, but now a Giratina Arceus fusion appears on Adam's side. Oh my god. <laughs> This guy's had the most scuffed Pokemon for both of us. Oh my god. <laughs> you, had, you had to fight two legendaries. But as he's dealing with that, yet again tragedy strikes. Giovanni sends in his final Pokemon Luck Slash and finishes off Tip with a Thunder Fang. No, we've had Tip for so long and he's been so useful. We send in Snoz to finish it off yet again, and Adam manages to take down the God Devil Fusion thanks to some Poison Tick damage. But apparently claiming two lives wasn't enough for Giovanni, as he sends in another legendary Groudon Fusion, and ultimately claims Clippy's life as well. Rip to the go. Thankfully, Adam just manages to squeeze out the fight, however, but we've effectively lost four Pokemon after the Zap Kuno and Giovanni fight. Well, that sucked. But fortunately, we had a few more encounters we could catch on our way to the league. And as we entered Victory Road, the revised team looked like this. Ao, which is for me, Togekiss and Lopunny. And of course is Gear 4 Luffy, the Infernape Breloom. Then we have Wallace, who's survived somehow. The Shuckle Bibarel <laughs> and Dragonite <laughs> Kyurem. Snoz, the big Snoz for Adam, which is Flygon and Probo Pass and Wooper and Doug Trio. The Forbidden Juice, which is uh, Chandelure and Hitmonchan and Ninetales and AG Slash. That is really cool for Adam. Um, then I have Meg the Titan, which is a Golurk and Electrovile. And Adam has a Darkrai and Agron. And finally, I have World Slayer, the Lucario and Agron. And uh, he has Pukumuku, Machamp. And after slowly making our way through Victory Road, we arrived at the League Entrance. Now all we had to do was beat four type specialists and the champion. The first battle was against Lorelei. What the fuck is that? On my... On my... <laughs> oh wait. Yo! Ice and water, what's good against it? Rock? No, it's water. I've okay. got a Minecraft tree on my screen. I didn't even realize. <laughs> Is there a Minecraft tree? <laughs> Pseudogon! I'm over here dying. What even? What Pokemon combination is that? It'd be Porygon and Pseudowoodo. Pseudowoodo, yeah. I made it through the fight easy enough, but when one of the original fusion Pokemon came in, Adam was in for trouble. If AO went down in the... Gee, oh. what? What? It's literally just... The original the fusion. Pokemon. That's just like the original fusion. That's kind of cool. Uh, I think I'm just fucked. Okay. <laughs> well, why would you use Wait, Flame I thought... Wheel? I thought it was Ice type. Yeah, no? but it's Dragon, so it resists it. It's hitting, but it could miss, and that's. Oh! oh! <laughs> Fuck! Oh. <laughs> Dude, I forgot I had an electric move because it's a fucking Zekrom, oh, man. Yeah. Stabbed it through the heart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, easy. <laughs> yeah, easy. It didn't almost kill every single one of my <laughs> Everyone. That's not good. That is really bad. <laughs> no! <laughs> Forbidden juice! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, great. Thankfully, though, he managed to get through the rest of them without an issue, and we move on to the next trainer. One Pokemon down. Bruno is surprisingly fighting type for myself, and normal for Adam. I made it through most of his Pokemon with relative ease, as did Adam, before a random Arcabuskin comes in. Okay, I'm done. I'm done. Make the Titan! No, dude! He that's like mirror moved me! Pokemon by far, bro. He oh, fucking dude. mirror moved me. Damn, two Pokemon down already, but I guess if we keep this streak and lose one per battle, we should make it to the end, right? And now it's time to take on Agatha. Great plan. But if it's flying, then just drop rocks on it. Oh yeah, you're right, actually. Okay, Heavy Slam should one-shot everything now. <laughs> you see like, Bone Rush, it. yeah, everything's just gonna go. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Death. Gira-ish. Nah, nah. 
Against Agatha, I came up with an amazing strategy to build up a sword stance to plus six in attack, and against her team of Pharaoh types, I was primed to roll with Heavy Slam. What could go wrong? No! It just switched all of my stat changes with it. So it just took my six, oh. it's, it's raised <laughs> It's raised up six levels in attack. Wait, There's, you're dead. There's no way, six levels. Oh, f why is it, it's building, it has a bit. <laughs> That's fucked, it's dead. Any crit. Crit, crit it. No, are you serious? Oh, I think I take it out. No. It's over. This fucking demon. He fucking took my stat changes. That's actually fucked up. Okay. How about... Okay. Oh, that's, yeah, that's sad. That's actually, that's quacked, actually. They're all dead. Damn it. Coming so close is so defeating. But honestly, I think if Adam can make it the rest of the way with the four Pokemon remaining, that's got to count for something, right? And so, on he went to land. Yeah, easy. Sweet. Yeah, massive sweet from Snoz here. I should have healed as well. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, nice. Idiot! I don't know why that's good, man. <laughs> mirror move can be really bad, but you good. You took it. Snoz just yeah. did that basically by himself. And surprisingly, Snoz cooked all of Lance's Pokemon, and he found himself in the champion room. Knocking out Donald's first Pokemon with an Earthquake, he takes down two more question mark Pokemon, and in comes the devil itself. Sunflame. Well, well, well. Well, well, well. <laughs> Well, well, well. Come, <laughs> um, idiot. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> oh, shit. What the fuck did it do that much damage? And there's leftovers. Sorry, he's no, risking it. Stupid. There's no stupid, no stupid. <laughs> fuck! How <laughs> 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 stupid. How stupid, how stupid. <laughs> there it is. That's fine. This is dead. Rest in peace. <laughs> so <if there's> one... <laughs> Why does Petal Blizzard. Okay, now I have to. <laughs> yeah, we've lost. There's no way. I have to hypnosis and has to stay in like 40 turns. <laughs> in like three turns. <laughs> nah. What if it crits? That's actually fucked. That's actually like not GG. Fuck you, guy. <laughs> what the fuck? You should have at least healed up Snoz. Proctor. I'm out. I would have used I would have used the rock throws if I had. It's yeah, it's Jova. What if it's not flying time? Oh, then Earthquake's neutral. But it probably is flying time. Well, this, is, this is the best thing. I, I'm just, I've just lost. You've lost. It's done. <laughs> yeah. Unless. I imagine it kills it. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Heal up. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Heal up. <laughs> it gets full powered. You elixir. Okay, it's over. <laughs> if you don't have elixirs, it's over. Wait, some no. berries can heal PP. <gasps> some. Yeah, you're right. Oh, there. Dude, okay. I wish I had this. Wait, aren't I dead next turn though? I gotta wait for a paralysis. No, I don't. I only hit half, unless he doesn't crit. Yeah. Well, he has to not crit. Is Snoz really gonna clutch up? That would be fucking insane. We should have done this at the start, dude. We lost like five Pokemon. That scared the fuck out of me, man. This kills. Okay. Oh, okay. Ooh, oh, flinch. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. What is it? Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Wait, that's big. GG. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's done it. Earthquake. Uh, oh no, it might be flying. That's cringe. Yeah, slide. just rock slide it. <laughs> and then if it's not very effective, then discharge. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. He's no fucking way, He's done. He's done it. He's pulled it back. Oh, oh my oh god. Oh my god. What the fuck? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, well, at least one of us beat it.
And so Adam managed to clutch out the win with just snores. What an amazing comeback victory. But in the end, we still technically failed our run. But if you want to see us attempt another Soul Link, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Okay, see ya.